I'm here in archaeological site LBR 229-03 in La Bota Ranch near Laredo, Texas. Uh, it's April the 4th, 2020, and it's 6.55 p.m. We had about two to three inches of rainfall last night, and I'm exploring this uh, archaeological site. Ground is all muddy, slippery. Found a few projectile points. Um, but noted this uh, curious phenomenon here on the site that I wanted to uh, document. So let's have a look at that. As you can see, the site is still wet, site surface. But um, a lot of the site had uh, some sort of dark uh, green, dried up, uh, crusty moss on the surface. And you can see some remnants of it over there, a little berm. But there was such a torrential rainfall during the nighttime that it congealed uh, some of that, uh, I'm going to call it moss. I'm not really familiar with it. And it's very interesting looking. It looks like seaweed. So let's have a look at some of that. And it's all over the site. So here's some right here. Let's pick some up and take a closer look at it. It's uh, kind of spongy feeling. I don't know if it would be uh, good to eat. I'm not going to try it. But uh, may actually possess some some nutrients in a survival situation. But I've never seen it like this before. It's usually dry, crusty on the surface of the, usually the hard pan in the, in the site. Well, not necessarily in the site, in the area. It has nothing to do with the actual archeological site. But uh, there's just so much of it here, it's almost like it fell out of space or something. And uh, take a look at that, look at the color. And it's not sticky. Obviously, it's wet from the from the rainfall last night, and I'm getting some sand on it. But it's, they like say, it's very spongy and cold. Temperature right now is about 60 degrees, which is unusually cool for this time of year. I think the atmosphere is rain cooled. But this is just so interesting. You know, almost as interesting as the actual uh, archaeological component of the site that I'm in. You see it all over the place here. I mean, it's it's literally all over. It's one of the first things I noted when I walked into the site today, and I'd never seen this in this form before. You see that? It's, it's a little translucent. It's just amazing stuff. I'm almost sure this has some benefit uh, nutrient-wise, if not to human beings, to, to animals. And I'll have to do some further research on it, and if anybody else has any information on this, I'd really greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and continue my archaeological explorations in the site and try to distract myself from that interesting material. And um, any information that anyone can give, I would appreciate it. Thank you.